So next we have an 18 Dodge Durango with a 3.6, and it has an EVAP code. I've already smoked it, and uh, it didn't take much to find this leak. The, there's a hose that's cracked on here. I have the replacement right here, so I'll show you that. There's a 10 hour right there on the end of cover. Here we go, pop, pop. In the back has a pop as well. I'm gonna put my hand up there, and pop it out. You see how the hose that's broken right there? So, just want to make sure this is our replacement hose that has 15 different tags on it. Take the tags off. I see the part number on it. So, this is the part number if you need it. This is an 18. I don't know if it's going to fit yours, but I had another one come in the other day. It's, I just saw an 18. I think it might actually, you know, it might be an 18. And it has the same exact problem. So, down here, you're going to have to undo this lock. You have to take this lock off. And then this, we're just gonna pop off with a new piece right here. Now, you need to be careful and you need to swap that plug over. If not, you'll have the same code. It's like kind of a pain. I'm gonna jump up here. Okay. It's easier for me to jump. Okay, we're gonna pop up. You see why? And then there's a little clip in the valve cover. We're gonna pop that off. Try not to break the end of the valve cover. Um, this kind of sucks. I think it's kind of tight. Let me grab my special pair of pliers. Let me see if I can get you guys a view and see. I'm gonna fight on this real quick. <laughs> so, not really a great place to set the camera. I'm gonna go like this. Okay, I'm gonna leave kind of see down there. This clip right here. Are these special pliers? I give a little wiggle. I'm gonna undo this. I'm not my way. Okay. Now that sucker is in there. What am I I'm trying to break it? Break this side of it. Shouldn't be this difficult. Okay, since we're gonna stick a pocket screwdriver, I'm gonna try it in my backup way. These clips shouldn't be this. There's one side. 2018 and this hose is already cracking. Kinda ridiculous. If you ask me, but okay. so there's the old one. 
It's the old piece of junk right there. And one thing, apparently Chrysler, they feel the need to not include this plug that you're gonna need. So don't forget to switch that over. We're gonna do it right now, so don't forget. Then we're gonna go and fish it back in. I'm gonna slide it. I'm trying to remember where it goes. And it goes under this bracket, which might be a little tight, but I think it'll go. Yep. Smack the camera a couple times. Just for good measure. Make sure everybody's paying attention. Okay. Let's plug this back in down here. Okay, there's that. I want to put this back in. This is it right here. Grab the front back. I'm gonna plug this in. Make sure the purge valve is back in its place. So it goes right back in like so. Then there's a push clip over here. It's gotta go back in. Run it to be as nice as possible. Okay, so now we're on this side. That's in. Let's put the lock back in. I don't remember which way it goes. So we'll have to try both. They go on this side. Let me know. Let me see. Yeah, I'm nothing special today. So, I think it goes like so. Okay, and then we're gonna put this back right there. That's on. Now we gotta plug this back in. Don't forget about that. I actually almost did. And then we can put the center cover back on and clear the codes. And I let the customer know it might not uh, um, take care of the evap code. We have a, we had a code for a small leak. Um, I didn't charge it to smoke test it, but it, was a, it took me. I literally pulled the cover off, hooked, checked the purge valve, and then I saw that. And I don't want to charge them the time to smoke it. It was just a hose. So if it returns, then we'll smoke it and go through the whole system properly. But we know that needs to be replaced, and I don't like ripping people off another one done. I'll find out what exact code we had to.